You know, I was I was working with somebody with somebody once who is um, like you kind of mentioned it, going into that childlike state, and you know that childlike state because it's how they would have responded based on that first encounter with that sort of thing, and oftentimes it's our parents that you know, we were reacting to, not just our spouse or that peer that we're working with or something like that. And to, if, we, if we recognize that, then we can, ad we can address what the real thing is behind that versus reacting based on how it's hurting me in the moment. And I had that happen once with, with a client who was just a grown woman but had become like a little child sobbing and you know defending herself in, in these very juvenile kind of ways with her spouse next to to her and i i just asked her when she was saying some of the most biting hurtful things i said do you want a hug right now and she, i was shocked that this was you know <laughs> that it happened the way it did but she said yeah i do <laughs> And I told her husband, I said, would you be willing to give him a, give her a hug? And he looked at me like, have you heard what she's been saying about me? Why would I give her a hug right now? And I said, well, just try it. And he did it in the most robotic way, you know, looking at me like, is this what I'm supposed to be doing? And you should have seen her melt. It was the... What she wanted was the exact opposite of what she was saying because she was in a defensive mode. And those irrational beliefs are what put us in that place and have us also respond to the other person rather than looking at what is that person experiencing and maybe this isn't about me. I had a client yell at me once and i sure I didn't do anything. And that when I, we talked about the issue, that person said, oh my, I just realized I'm saying this because I thought you were saying these things about me and you didn't say anything. I was just, I was jumping to conclusions. I was expecting what you were saying to be about me and I was giving a list of potential symptoms that people might have in my group and she thought that they were all about her because she was used to being attacked in the past. And so she jumped to conclusions and she expected those things to be about her. And I said, actually, some of them are things I've done. <laughs> they're not just about you and they're about everybody in the group. They're a culmination of all of the things that we're doing. And she looked at me and she was so apologetic, but it, she had gone back to that place where that's that irrational belief of, I thought this somebody was attacking me. Mm -hmm. I think the biggest thing with relationships is the thing that I, well, a couple things that I tell people. I, I, I truly believe that when we deal with other people and things they've done to us or hurt us, you know, it's easy, it was for me when I was growing up to think I must be awful that I wasn't, you know, perpetually accepted by people and validated by people. You think, well, what am I doing wrong that I'm not getting the response that I want from people? And I, I realize that, you know, often how people perceive me comes from their own distorted beliefs, their own background. So what people say about me is often more a reflection of them than it is of me. And what I perceive in other people is more a reflection of me than it is sometimes even of them. And the other thing that I like to tell people too is the truth always comes out. Sometimes it takes a week, a month, a year, five years, 10 years. But if it's the truth, it always comes out in the end. And so if you feel like you have to protect yourself from a lie or something somebody said about you, the truth always comes out. And, and I believe the reason the truth always comes out is from my Christian perspective that God is truth and truth reigns supreme in this world. And if we're, if we're willing to look at what the truth is, that it'll, it'll help us in our relationships. It'll help us take accountability for what we've done wrong, but also not take accountability for someone else's faults and make ourselves guilty of those things. And so we can have a true perspective of how things are if we're willing to look at the truth. And I know this isn't popular to say, but I hear a lot of people say my truth and your truth. 
the truth is just the truth. It's not mine, it's not yours. The truth is the truth for everyone. And so just sometimes I think that's more of an egocentric way of saying, well, this, what's wor this is what works for me and that's what works for you, but it's not the truth if it's not the truth for everyone. So if it's not good for everyone, so. Mm -hmm.